Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back once again with Kira, the ET4X, and the ET5X. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, a super quick review. We are using Kira 5.21. This project started because a user asked about the ET5X and the pause at layer height script. Now, I'll have a link to that video. This is where you can get to the script right now. If we click on my script, you can see that I was doing a height of 1.6 millimeters, and then we went down here and I added an M300, which is supposed to beep, but it does not on that printer, and then we added a manual pause. So that means I had 240 seconds to manually get the filament out, and that works on the ET5X, which has a standard ANET firmware. Now we're going to switch this project to my ET4X, and my ET4X has Marlin put on it. If you have not seen that, I will make sure I have a video of those steps up above. Once again, you can get to the post-processing right here. I'm going to set that layer height at 1.5. I used the BQM25 method to get it to pause. We're still going to keep the park, the 190, the 6, the 25 retraction speed. I did add that to the script. Standby temperature is 215. I'm going to put an M300 to see if we can get a beep. And then boom, M600 is what automatically removes the filament. When we cancel that out, let's go back to my original design. I'm going to change it so I shut off uniform scaling. And I'm going to make it 3 millimeters instead of 2 because that way the 1.5 splits more evenly. If we check my setup, you can see I've got 0.3 layers, 0.8 walls, 1.2 for the top and bottom thickness, 20% infill, 215 and 60 for the printing temperature of my PLA and the bed, and the print speed is 60. Also down here, if we get all the way to the bottom, I have got a skirt with six lines and 10 millimeters apart. Friends, this is what the Marlin control panel looks like on the ET4X. I'm going to click up here and let's bump up that temperature to get it preheating. Get close to that 215 and then simply hit the check mark. You can use the plus and minus to make it a little more accurate. Same thing with the bed. Slide it across. Use the minus and the plus to get it right where you want. That is what it looks like when you've got Marlin added to your ET4X. As you can see, the printer is now connected, so I can switch to print via USB. Let's click that button and make something magical. This part takes a little over one minute, but I used a little bit of video editing to speed it up for you. At this point, you can see it goes into the wait for filament unload mode. And after just a few moments, you will see the filament start to be unloaded. Here I have got my second filament. I clipped the end. I am sliding it in, just making sure that I get it into that area. And then once I get it close up here, then I can start clicking on the screen to get the process to continue. Do note that this takes two taps. There's one where it heats, and there's a second one where it actually continues. And there we are, filament being pulled through. Easy peasy. After a bit of time, you can see it push through the Bowden tube just like that. If you do not get any purge on your first try, simply click Purge More and see if that gets you some filament. Of course, there is nothing wrong with tapping that twice till you get the perfect color of green that you're hoping for. Of course, when you're happy, tap continue to resume the print. Once again, we'll use a little bit of video editing to speed that up so it happens just a little bit faster. Don't forget, I do want to remind you, this is a Tinkercad design. I have a tutorial for that fun little project, and of course, you'll be able to track down a link to it in the video cards. All right, friends, so let's pop it off the bed. As you can see, that was pretty darn easy. And let's see if we can get this in focus. There is our fun little two-color heart charm made in Tinkercad and printed on the ET4X that has Marlin 2.0 installed. 
All right, everybody, so a quick review. This all started because Tom asked me the awesome question about can you get the ET5X to work with Posit Layer? Now we did find a way to make Posit Layer work, but we had to remove the filament manually. That video, of course, will be in the cards, but of course this one, because we had Marlin 2.0 on the ET4X, we were able to make it happen automatically. Now, friends, I will be making more videos showing how to get Marlin 2.0 on the ET5X, but for now, friends, remember Remember, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell. You're going to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.